We were recently sent a very interesting Bible um, from one of our viewers, and uh, I'm going to do a little quick video review of this thing. And it turned out that I actually had another one in my collection, so I have two of these things. I'm um, going to show you a little bit more detail here, sort of an interesting thing. Let me show you. So here they are. This one's a little bit bigger than this one, but they're very similar. Memory, Holy Bible, it's King James Bible, both of them are King James. Our deepest sympathy, warehouse, warehouse retail and mail order employees, Teamsters Local Union number 590, Baltimore, Maryland. And this one here is put out by our deepest sympathy, Acclimated Transit Union Division 1235, uh, AFL-CIO, Nashville, Tennessee. So both of these are given to people who had, uh, they lost loved ones at a, you know, they give them these for the funeral. But a very interesting little cross, little zipper cross thing here. Like that. And uh, there's the, when they gave it out, I guess. But this is the interesting thing about this one. This thing here, uh, I don't know if you're going to even be able to make that out. Um, it says, your skins as scarlet, red like crimson, the wages of sin is de death, can sins be blotted out, all sin. But uh, what you do is you take this red piece of clear plastic. I don't think that's going to show up at all. Um, See if I can zoom in a little bit more on this to see if it'll show up a bit better. It's supposed to be sort of that, you know, picture of the graven image of Christ there, of Jesus or whatever, but it says, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. See, if you have this apart there, you can't see it. So you have to put this red thing on there like that. And up there... like that. You can kind of see it's getting focused in a little bit better. And then if you have it away, you can't see it. So definitely an interesting little feature, one you aren't going to see very much. I've never seen it in any of the other Bibles that I have. These little zipper Bibles like this. I, I have seen that before, but um, decent little presentation pages and things. Strength and guidance gives you different scriptures. Of course, a lot of these paintings in, in these Bibles you have to stay away from. They're not at all accurate. They're usually painted by Catholics. You know, a bunch of white people in the Old Testament or something. But this one here has the... Where's it at? I think it has the same thing. Doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah, right there. So again, you can see the, the red there and uh, the blood of Jesus Christ right there. Let me pull this off to the side, then you can't really see it too good. So I just thought that was kind of an interesting uh, little idea with Bibles here and... and um, you know, a decent little Bible to carry around. Um, quite frankly, I think a lot of the pictures should be cut out of it. But red letter edition, the text is, is okay. Fairly clear. It's a little bit light. The red print there looks actually a little bit darker on the camera, but it's actually pretty light here. So a little concordance in the back. Let's see who publishes this thing. Today Incorporated. I don't know who Today Incorporated is. 1976. I'm not really sure who printed that. So, but uh, very interesting Bibles. So, there you have it. Real quick little review of these two unique little Bibles that were given out to people at funerals. And uh, just to illustrate something about the King James Bible, another reason I made this video is because the King James Bible does not have a copyright. 
Now, certain ones will have, you know, a crown copyright or whatever because a certain edition will be copyrighted, like a Cambridge edition. They'll copyright their format of the way that they print it. But the King James Bible itself can be printed by anybody. All right. So I haven't gone through and checked the text and whatever else, but, you know, some publication company was making these for union employees. When they would die, they'd give one to their wife or whatever. And uh, it's amazing how far this nation has fallen um, that you had uh, unions and even the military. I've seen military editions of the King James Bible from back uh, World War I, World War II, I think even, um, where they were giving out King James Bibles to the troops. Um, my, how things have changed. So just wanted to make a quick video just saying thank you to those that sent these. We always love unique Bibles. Uh, we have a good collection of those. And um, just always neat to see the Word of God being used in different purposes in the past. And uh, so that's going to be it. We'll see you in another video.